Who do I see lasting over a decade in the music industry? That is a good question. Out of the rappers that we listen to, I mean, like, it's hard to even think that far because the music industry and just internet clout is going faster and faster. We're on a hamster wheel that's increasing speed at all times. So, like, artists back in the day, they would drop one album per year and that was considered a lot nowadays that's like standard or else you're falling off so people got to do two three especially while they're on the come up and so that means they fall off faster though because the faster you go up the faster you must go down so uh let's see the top rappers like i i don't even know if i can for sure say any of the rapper the underground rappers or the new gen rappers are going to be here for 10 years not even yeet I can't even say that wholeheartedly. Although he is good with business, so maybe he'll be able to. Ha he has his own label, Twizzy Rich, so maybe he'll like sign producers. He already has actually, and videographers and video editors. He's smart as shit for that. So maybe he'll sign artists as well, um, and then that'll like prolong his legacy without. I don't know him being able to fall off it's almost like i don't even know are there any label owners that are still relevant at this point like rick ross drake i guess they got their own little artists but like they ain't that big we got meek mill underneath them but you get the point like it's hard for 10 years like really drake is the only one that's lasted for 10 years maybe eminem who else when did Cardi like get in or Uzi? Uzi got in like 2015. It's only been seven years. So I don't know, man, three years for Uzi. And I'd say 2016 is really when he turned on. So it's been six years for Uzi. We still got four years to remain relevant to, you know, get that 10 years. It's already been six years since the big SoundCloud wave in 2016. A lot of them are still around, just not at the top. Denzel Curry has been around for eight years. That's true. And honestly, if X and Juice were alive, they would have been decade artists, I think. Like, they they were on the later end, like 2017, 2018 for Juice World. So, uh, but yeah, I think they were good enough and talented. It's all about talent at that point to prolong yourself. Travis Scott. Okay, Travis Scott will be here for the decade. I don't know when he started popping off, like 2013 or some shit. When, when did, uh, I can't even remember when any, when did, uh, uh fuck it, what was it, Rodeo? When did Rodeo release? Because that'll probably, that, that was like when he first popped off with, that was 2015, right? Damn. 2014? 2015, that's. The thing is, Travis Scott popped off with, like at the same time as everybody else. Future is a decade artist, but we, those those dudes are already OGs. Like I think it's already assumed that they'll be here. Lil Baby, Lil Baby, I think will be here for ten years. Kanye, but again, all of those rappers are already like solidified. I think that it's not even like a hot take to say that they'll be in the game for ten years, right? That's like saying like Drake will be here for 15 years. Like, oh shit. You did no, you didn't. It's like no shit, bruh. He already been here for 11. Lil Baby's gonna fall off. I don't know, man. People love Lil Baby. People I don't I don't get it. Lil Dirk. Lil Dirk's pretty much been here for 10 years. When did he start coming up? Cause he kind of fell off, but then he came back on once he got the Drake cosign. Or actually, he was he was already making his way up before Drake, and then Drake gave him the cosign, and then the feature, and then now he's like on top of the game. Baby Keem, I don't know. Baby Keem's really new. He's only like two albums in. You gotta have like three, four albums to really be a decade artist. Lucky man, I guess Lucky. Look, Lucky's been in the game for a while, but like since 2015, SoundCloud days, maybe even before, but that's really when I started to dig deep into it. But he never has really hit 
the level to be like a decade artist technically speaking like lucky's still underground now he has his own little fan or big fan base that goes hard for him but like even even yeet is doing better than him right now potentially so fago so like i wouldn't say that lucky was really on for 10 years or maybe he will soon but like it's just been a long train of him doing super well but he's 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 gonna forever be underground if you ask me uh you think fago has the potential to appeal to mainstream he has the brand to appeal to mainstream but yo so does yeet apparently he was in a fucking nike and dick sporting goods commercial like he's getting cosigns from goddamn you know fortune 500 brands companies so like if you're in commercial that that's type shit that travis scott and drake drake was in the sprite commercial that's like what lil yachty was in the sprite commercial will lil yachty be here for 10 years i don't know if lil yachty's on anymore though like i wouldn't be surprised if lil yachty dropped an album he just dropped the michigan boy boat and that sold like 10k to 15k I don't know if he's selling 30k on his next album bro which is what he averages i i think i think his his top was like 50k with his debut album or his second or sophomore album but i don't know if he's he's hitting that anymore trippy red i think trippy red's like the most resilient artist i think i think he could be a decade artist he's been here since 2017 though so we still got it's only been half a decade and he's already signing artists but damn but he knows how to make hits he really does i mean that big 14 song is good but it's so old it's like what is how is he gonna fit that into his new sound you know baby tron too new can't really speak on that uh Lil Bo only needs four more years you know how long four years is my guy like i only been here since 2020 think about that ea dropped march 2020 i started making uzi videos like january february and that's when my i started going up a little bit like it's only it's only been two years like four years like a lot of people are gonna fall off 21 savage i guess 20 when did he start going 2016 tyler tyler will be a decade artist because he has his own like non hip hop like hipster and that's no offense to any of the Tyler fans because I I actually liked his last album it had some cool songs on there especially the one that uh, I can't remember what it was called but it was like him rapping about potentially being gay or whatever <laughs> no pause no homo um but yeah I think Tyler will last just because he pushes the boundaries every single time again it all comes down to talent 21 Savage he just drops so infrequently i guess that's the reason that he always stays and he has like a i don't know something about the something about the culture just fucking with 21 savage like that but i don't know he he's definitely not as big as he once was but i don't remember the last time he actually dropped a solo album the last one was what uh savage mode 2 so i guess we'll find out later on so zamanoti f super shattered one dollar and 99 cents uzi trick carty and juice soundcloud mount rushmore hey don't forget little pump bro the weekend yeah the weekend's a goat nba young boy nba young boy man it'll be interesting to see what happens to him when he goes independent because he's getting so much actually i wouldn't even say he's getting pushed from the label right now but there has to be some sort of push for young boy even though you know probably 75 to 90 percent of his streams are organic completely just because them you know them fans are listening to it on their ps3s all day every day but uh when he goes independent you know they're gonna take that shit all out of the the, the spotify playlist they're gonna be like nah fuck you we ain't helping you anymore because as we discussed before with 24k golden like the the labels they that's what they do they don't care about making real fans but what they will do is is sauce you into some of the playlists that they know like rap caviar that'll get hella streams just passively people they're not even listening to it they got it on mute right while they're in their car 
<laughs> NASCAR Aloe was never on. I'm sorry. I like some of his songs, but no. Kid Boo Decade Art. He Kid Boo. <laughs> Kid Boo will forever like he'll be a decade artist in the sense that he will always be trying to suck dudes dry. These rappers dry from their sounds. Uh someone said kodak black when did he 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 came in like 2015 so yeah i mean kodak like has been co-signed by all the big players like drake kodak i mean fuck kendrick i, I got what mixed up with the k's kendrick j cole what about kanye did kanye have him on donda by chance let me check that shit real quick but yeah so i think I think Kodak plus his voice just sounds like Lil Wayne to me. Like I feel like he'll be here for a while. And he's got like a super unique sound. And he randomly comes up with hits random. I don't get it. Like what was the last one? Super Gremlin. And then Drake had that funny look. He was singing to it at a party. That was hilarious. But yeah, Kodak's doing good. I think he's a decade artist. Tekka. Tekka's already been here for a while. So Actually, today was the three-year anniversary of Ransom. So, he has been in the game since for three years, roughly speaking. I know he had, like, a little underground success before then, but really, like, with We Love You, Tekka, which is the album, and then Ransom, which was the lead single for that album with Internet Money, produced by it at least, Lil Mosey fell off hard for sure. He's not here anymore. Lil Tekka... <laughs> Lil Mosey is punching the air right now, but the, that was him getting like the R word accusations. That was like the coffin closing on him. Lil Mosey, he had that blueberry fago, but then it like it just fell off so hard. That's another that's another example of like the 24k golden effect where you get like a huge single. I don't even know that hit that hit uh top 10, I believe, but I don't know if it got him fans again. Like he. It, I knew him way back though. He was fire back in the day. At least for a few songs. When he got the lyrical lemonade music videos or booth pack, shit like that. What about Lil Boom? Lil Boom ain't even relevant. He never really was too relevant. Like he was a meme rapper and shit, but but all these rappers who fell off, like, it's no diss. Like, they got more money than me. If you have one song, you already made it a bag. So and by one song, I mean like one hot 100 single like that's millions of dollars right there plus like you could just do the frank ocean strategy where you get the advance money and then just dip like you ain't got to do anything you just can't release any more music but you can take that three million dollars go invest in real estate you know buy like three houses or some shit rent them out make a whole business in itself just off making one good song like the, the music industry definitely provides opportunity Tekka is an example of someone who doesn't have to sell a lot, but is still uh, an important part and influence the underground. I agree. I, it's like Cardi almost. And I'm not trying to like uh, be that guy. But like when you have a cult like fan base, that's what I mean. Like Cardi, like Tekka sells tickets. Yes, he only sold what? Like 30K, 35K first week. On his last album, it was a solid project. It was decent. I think I gave it like a six, six point five or some shit. Um, but if you sell in tickets, that's all that really matters. Cause them shits cost what, like fifty bucks to to make fifty bucks streaming. Let's let's calculate that shit. Cause I, I can't even remember off the top of my head. But like tickets and and merch, he sold so much merch. I saw the merch table. People were buying that shit left and right. But $50 divided by 0 0.0045, you got to get 11,000 streams, at least on Spotify. So you can just make one fan off of like one stream and they're like, oh my God, I love him so much. Let me buy, uh, you know, uh, a t-shirt with his logo on it. And then they're also going to stream that shit. And he gets a higher percentage than the, the music. So... Lil Pump fell off. Well, you saw the concert yesterday. Lil Pump had the crowd going wild. I think he's going to turn into like a almost a Las Vegas artist. Wherein you. Wherein those artists 
perform like all their old shit nobody really cares about their newer music but they were once like a global phenomenon so they just keep performing that and people love it because when they're fucked up they don't give a shit but they're not gonna silly gonna like go travel for you but if they're in the same place of course like if i was in vegas and i was fucked up right and Lil pump was performing i'd be like shit let me buy this 30 dollar ticket let me get some drinks let me get some uh perks from the dick sporting goods and nike collab uh what was it gift card and then we we out you you can pull more than Lil sky at this point <laughs> I think Lil Skies has some dedicated fans, but yeah, I don't know, man. That's just what happened to Lil Skies just proves that you can't take that big of breaks because the internet moves so fast that if you take breaks, they're going to move on to the next Lil Skies. I don't know who that is right now, but like just people forgot about him. It's I don't know if his music is all too different i think he previewed a snippet maybe it is he tried to rap a little bit more that's actually that's the thing with a lot of these rappers when we say they fell off it's when they get away from all the melodic shit i don't know why they think that it's like oh i can rap now and it'll sound good no bro we liked your music because you were singing on that shit we don't give a fuck if it's auto-tune but it sounded good Skies had 2018 music. That's that's when he blew, popped up, like with Red Roses or whatever it was called. Who the fuck want to be labeled next Lil Skies? I don't know. Lil Skies had the game in a chokehold at one point. Like his music videos on Lyrical Lemonade were popping off more than everybody else. There was a time where he was like my favorite artist. It wasn't for that long, but uh, you know, you know, sometimes you get in those little moods, right? I was having a fling, pause, not with Lil Skies, but his music. I was letting him insert into my ear all the time. 